morning everybody my name is Christiane and welcome to my channel backpacking bananas I hope that you are well I have been backpacking through El Salvador for the past week now and I bloody love it here but more on that later I've been in the city of Santa Ana for the past couple of days and yesterday with a group of friends we rented motos and we went to the Santa Ana volcano and we also went to Lake Cuadapec and hang out and it was a really really good day I'm still in Santa Ana in this vlog I'm still in the same hostel which is called Hostel La Villa Campanario it's actually super super beautiful it's super super cheap it's definitely not the most luxurious of hostels but it's a good vibe I actually really like it here especially the bar that does one dollar shots for happy hour it's incredible anyway in today's vlog we are going to go on another adventure on the scooters we're going to be doing the Ruta de los Flores which is a very famous driving route that you can do in El Salvador that takes you through a few different several towns where there is supposed to be loads of wild flowers along this route there's also like a lot of coffee plantations that's kind of what it's famous for and there's also some waterfalls and hot springs along the way as well this sounds like it's gonna be a friggin great day something that's just like completely up my street especially driving on the scooters as well so it's only $15 a day to rent a scooter here uh, we're literally just renting them from the guy who owns this hostel and apparently he's like the only guy in town that does that that like rents out scooters don't know how accurate that statement is but I'm going to be sharing with Beck and so $7.50 each for the rental of the scooter for the day is pretty pretty good now last night we as a, we as a group the group who went to the volcano yesterday we went to Walmart last night and we bought supplies for dinner and we've also bought supplies for breakfast this morning so I believe that's what's happening right now so let's go and see what's being made up this morning Morning. Oh, Becky checking the oats. Yeah. Absolutely. Bulk oats. What is it? Bulk, Bulk oats. Bulk oats, right. Because <laughs> there's lots of us. <laughs> Dominic's on the shopping with the apples. He was, Always hustling. <laughs> he literally woke up 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Straight in. Straight in. We got some coffee. Oh, lovely. Thank you to our chefs. <laughs> I was on coffee duty. Look at this. How a lot of sludge. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just having a little bike check before we go. Yeah, I don't know why they, they throw a little like checking tires, like, oil, all of those things because yeah, we're driving quite a lot today. And our first stop, well our first stop's gonna be the gas station, but after that we are heading to the start point of our Ruta de las Flores today, which is gonna be in Son Sonate, which is about one hour drive on the scooters from here in Santa Ana. Okay, the team has made it to Sonsonate. Woohoo! There's not actually anything to do here in Sonsonate as far as we're aware. It's just where the Ruta de las Flores kind of starts. So we've just had just a little quick toilet stop and we're going to be heading to our first destination en route, which is called da -da 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 -da. Nahuizalco. Okay. <laughs> do we know what to do in Nahuiz Alco? No, get, we don't. Get pupusas. Get, get pupusas. Okay. Yeah, pupusas. So we're gonna have a pupusa stop in Nahuiz Alco. All right. Um, I reckon if we lose each other, we meet in the Nahuiz Alco Park. That seems to be kind of central, right? Seventeen-minute drive away. Yes. Okay. Let's go to Nahuiz Alco. local herbs in a pupusa. I have no idea. So, the town that we're in... Nah. I can't remember the name of the Huizan Court, something like this. There's a beautiful little market which we just walked through. Uh, but we're not staying long in this town, so we just stopped at a local pupusa rear, and then we're going to head on. Maybe if you just go in with your mouth. Yeah. So 
So this is the first Mirador point. It's just before the town of Salcoa Titan. I wonder if by the end of the day I'll remember any of these names, but I don't think they will because they're all quite long and complicated. Beautiful. So apparently there's three iconic viewpoints on the Ruta de las Flores, and this is the first one. Okay, Salcoa Titan with the big sign like everywhere in Latin America, just so you don't forget. So our goal in this town, we're not going to stay long, but this one is supposed to be more famous for the coffee plantations. So I read online somewhere. So I've set the goal for the group is to find coffee. a really nice coffee shop and we're going to have a nice coffee. We've just got the local recommendation. Oh, fantastic. Do we? Yeah, Great. Can. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Is this where we've been recommended? This is where we're going to go, Cien Fuegos. There's the 1959. I can count. <laughs> is it open? <laughs> it's closed. Huh? Okay. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, back on the bikes. We're leaving Selco Yetatan, whatever, now, and we're off to Huayua. Yeah. Huayua, Huayua, Huayua. I don't know how to say it. Uh, we've arrived in Huayua, and slight spanner in the works. The waterfalls, the main waterfalls here, Los Churros, Los Choros, sorry, not Los Churros, but they would be right, <laughs> really nice right now, um, are closed on a Wednesday of all days, and it's a Wednesday today, but we found a guy who was like, the main entrance is closed, however, I can take you around a special way, um, and we can go to the waterfalls today, for three dollars each per person, which doesn't seem like such a bad deal so we're gonna take him up on that so we're just gonna figure out now how we can get all of us with our motor taxis and this guide who doesn't seem to have his own transport vehicle <laughs> nothing nothing's organized here um, and see if we can get to the waterfalls this way <laughs> Tuba buses. They have those tuba buses, like party buses in Colombia and in El Salvador. But this is this is our guy, the guy in the white white shirt. Cuánto lejos es nuestra camina? Eh, pienso 20 a 30 minutos. Okay. okay vamos. You ready, everyone? <laughs> ¿Y cómo te llamas? Eh, soy el Mer Hernández. Elmer Hernández. Elmer Hernández. Sí. So Mucho gusto. Soy Christy. Christina. Christy. I'm excited <laughs> to go to this waterfall, which no one's going to be in today. Plantaciones de café. Ah, sí. Ajá. La la cosecha es en noviembre, diciembre y termina hoy en enero. Uh huh. This is our secret route. Love it. Okay, we're walking back now 
those waterfalls were amazing i love them so much and just especially cool that obviously the main entrance was closed today which means that we were the only ones there in the waterfalls which was just glorious but i had to be the party pooper to tell everyone that we did need to carry on now because um tomorrow we're gonna do the seven waterfalls tour and it actually brings you to that same waterfall so we can enjoy it more tomorrow but today is about the Ruta de las Flores and it is like three o'clock and we've still got quite a lot to do and we don't really want to be driving in the dark. I, I feel like our last journey is gonna be in the dark, but we gotta go. Really hard to show you uh, the artwork on the floor, but we have arrived in the town of Apaneca, number four of the five towns along the Ruta de las Flores. And honestly, okay, so from what we see, there's not like, it's not a terribly like, busy town, but this is known as like the adrenaline activity capital of the Ruta de las Flores. So you can do like zip line canopy tours from here. You can also hike up the, the hill, I don't know if it's a mountain or a hill, that's just up here in the distance. There's like three crosses on the top. I know you can do a hike there. And there's also just like some really nice street art on the walls. But honestly, we're not spending long here at all. It's just a quick whistle stop because we've still got quite a long way to go before we get back to Santa Ana. And time's pressing on, it's 3.30. We haven't had the best time management today, but we've tried our best. Oh wow. Still. Okay, we've just had a little coffee and a cake. Well, I just had a coffee in. So yes, and Kekes. We're still in uh, Apaneka, uh, and we've had a change of plan because basically we kind of realised we really don't have time for the hot springs. So we're just going to head to Ataco, which is going to be the final destination on the Ruta de las Flores, and then we're going to head back to Santa Ana, and then all of our other plans we're going to do um, on another day. But I think we're all in agreement of this. We're all happy with this plan. <laughs> so let's go to Ataco. How is it being a passenger today, Shuni? Oh, it's so nice. She's not how to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just go along with the right. <laughs> and we have made it to our final little town on the Ruta de las Flores. Uh, it's a town called Ataco. And immediately, first impressions, this town is probably one of the busiest and most touristy that we've been to, but it's absolutely beautiful. Just cobbled streets everywhere. Uh, loads of little market stalls. Really cute. just bought myself a little headband, a white headband, not because I necessarily love it, but I think it's gonna make the helmet fit better on my head because I have a very tiny head and always with the motorcycle helmets, they're just flopping around and I just don't feel like it's ideal. So yeah, hopefully this will help. I just don't suit headbands. Like I just don't think that this is a look that suits me. Atole? What is an atole? I don't really know. It's like a sweet, hot drink. Oh. Thick. Oh, I have had this in Mexico. Yeah, cheese in there. So it's like a corn thing, cheese in the middle, and it's cooked within a banana leaf. It's pretty cool. So it's like corn, corn batter with cheese on the inside, like cooked in a banana leaf. The headband is making me cringe, but it's keeping the hair off the face at least. Um, right, so we've just got this, and I've got them for it with chicharron y queso. Beck said it tastes a bit sweet. Oh yeah! Oh, it tastes like a, like a sweet crepe. Oh! Anyway, this was 175. Pretty good. And this is the center of a taco, as you can see. Big sign, as usual. <laughs> and some reindeer. It is gone Christmas, by the way. Oh, Dominic's in a tree. <laughs> Literally like an absolute monkey. 
Okay, I think it's time to leave Ateco now. We've got about an hour left of sunlight and it's gonna take us just over an hour to get back. So hopefully just the final part of the journey will be in the dark, but absolute success. I really like Ateco. I might go as far to say that it's been my favorite town of all the towns we visited today. Not looking forward to this journey home. It's gonna be chilly, but I'm already wearing my fleece. The thing is, it's very hot in El Salvador. It's like 30 degrees in the daytime, but when you're going like up the hills and if the sun goes in and you're going kind of fast on the scooter, it really gets quite chilly. <laughs> Guess what? It's happy hour. Is it? I yeah. Mean, I just looked at the time and I thought, isn't it five to six? No, it's six, it's to, six to seven. seven. Yeah. Oh. Hiya. Hello, Christine. Hello. Backpacking bananas. Made it here for a happy hour. <laughs> I literally, the first thing I said when I walked through um, the tour was, oh, it's time for happy hour. <laughs> I'm just on the rooftop of the hostel. Look how beautiful. So, Ruta de las Flores. Is that what's called? I don't even know at this point. <laughs> We had a really, really good day, but I think it was very clear that we just didn't have long enough for what we wanted to do because they say you can do it in a day and you can, but if you do it in a day, then you're kind of rushing every single destination. So in hindsight, if I were to go back and do it again, I would have done it over the course of at least two days and probably would have stayed in Uaiwa, probably would have left my big bag in Santa Ana um, and just packed like an overnight bag to bring with me on the motorbike to do a couple of towns a day and like actually do a proper coffee farm tour, um, fit maybe even the seven waterfalls tour in the same trip. I feel like that would be the best way to do Ruta de las Flores. But do you know what? What I'm going to do after I finish traveling El Salvador, I'm going to put together a little itinerary for you guys or like an ideal way that you can travel the country because there's really not much information online about El Salvador and especially about like how best to travel it. So I would like to be your source of information for that. But anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am staying in Santa Ana a few more days because there's still so much to do here. So please subscribe if you want to keep up to date with more things that I'm getting on with in El Salvador and all across the world. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.